All right, so now that you sort of get the idea, you've watched a video on quantum computing, remember the big thing here is that quantum computers don't really use zeros or ones. They use what's called a superposition between the two. And the big idea is that if you have, you can build a really powerful quantum computer that can do calculations and do things, um, very specific things in, in general, that regular computers just can't do. Um, in fact, recently, um, Google said that they had reached quantum supremacy with one of their supercomputers. And um, it's still debatable in, in the community about whether that's true. But um, they say that they can basically do calculations that no regular computer could do faster. Um, and so there's all sorts of different quantum computer applications. Um, one would might be artificial intelligence. One might be molecular modeling. Um, and these are all things that regular computers can do too. But we think what, and if we get better quantum computers, they'll do them better. Um, cryptography, financial modeling, weather forecasting, particle physics, all sorts of different things. Um, one we've sort of looked at already before is cryptography, um, just to get your memory jogged. Remember we did this with Alice, Eve, and, and, and Bob? Well, the problem is, is that quantum computers, one of the things they're really, really good at would be cracking these the private keys or the secret numbers. Um, so we may have to really rethink our security once quantum computers um, are, are adapted more widely and able to do these problems quite easily. Um, so if we go back to sort of the chart we saw before, um, perhaps maybe we'll get a little bit of this continuation of this line with um, you know regular computing and regular computer chips. But maybe the quantum computer is where we go from here and where we get that huge leap in calculation potential and raw computing power. Um, and again, you know, that's that's the idea that it could potentially happen here. Um, some people even think that it's that might be part of how the brain works is that it's doing some things at the quantum level that we uh, are not sure of yet. Um, so it's sort of an interesting idea, and maybe that's how the um, the growth happens. So just to tee up next time, the current state of artificial intelligence, because that's kind of what that graph in, entails, right? Is that graph is saying we are getting to the point where raw computational power is similar to a human brain. Um, it doesn't use quantum computing. It just uses regular standard old computing. But it's progressing very quickly. And we're going to talk a lot about it in the next unit and then about the applications as well as the implications for um, ethics and whatnot too um, for the rest of the course. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.